Well, taking part in the Diverse Cities Research Programme, uh, all 14 different countries involved uh, organized an educational programme um, designed for students aged between uh, 12 and 15. Uh, through this educational programme, uh, students were, uh, were expected to get familiar with and discuss the notion of diversity, uh, to discover its multiple effects in their city, both negative and positive, to design and conduct their own research in their neighborhood, and finally to suggest local initiatives uh, with the aim of um, uh, addressing diversity. Uh, in the case of Athens, the educational program took place at the first primary school uh, in the municipality of Aharnes, which is a socially and ethnically diverse municipality on the outskirts of the city. Uh, the class group comprised uh, 14 students um, in their final year of uh, primary schooling eight boys and six girls uh, from various social backgrounds with different ethnic origins and uh, learning abilities. Mm. Drawing from our experience uh, working with students, we would highlight uh, two major remarks. First, when students were asked to describe themselves and their classmates, uh, they barely referred to their differences. Instead, they mostly focused on their similarities, such as uh, their common religion, the places where they used to hang out, or their everyday, the everyday habits that they share. Uh, we suggest that uh, this almost absolute emphasis that students gave on um, their similarities can be uh, interpreted in two different ways. On the one hand, this could mean a sense of tolerance and acceptance of otherness, which allows students to um, leave their differences aside. Or, on the other hand, this could mean that students uh, turn a blind eye uh, to their differences, probably having difficulties uh, to directly face and deal with um, diversity. Um, the second remark we would like to highlight concern uh, students' uh, proposals uh, about uh, local initiatives and, pro and projects with the aim of addressing, addressing diversity in their neighborhood. The most popular project suggested was the creation of a local center for the reception of newly arrived refugees who constitute uh, one of the most vulnerable, vulnerable and marginalized population groups in the neighborhood. And a second uh, project uh, suggested was the creation of a local sports center with free access for everyone, regardless of their uh, socio-professional grouping, uh, with multiple like, sports activities for all ages and for both abled, bodied and disabled uh, persons. Uh, all projects suggested uh, proved that uh, students were uh, able to integrate the dimension of uh, uh, diversity into their ideas uh, as good as uh, adults or professional researchers would do. In this sense, uh, it seems to us that uh, uh, discussing research questions with uh, students would very much contribute to the continuation of our research work.